This is the October Hop for the Love of Crafting and Sharing. Our theme this month is kits. I've created a kit for my 2020 December Daily Album using miscellaneous scraps and Christmas themed ephemera in my stash. I'm Emily and you found Emily's Paper Caper where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting some pages done. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit subscribe and the bell icon now so you won't miss any ideas. Christmas papers and embellishments are probably one of my favorites. I don't do a lot with kits, but for this month's challenge and theme of kits, I decided to go ahead and pull some things that have been my st in my stash for quite some time and that I would create my December daily album using it. I even put together my stash of Christmas themed washi tape to make sure that I'm using it as well as lots of Christmas themed miscellaneous stickers. I'm going to transform this into pages in my December daily album. I'll do a flip through and then show you a comparison of how much of this kit I was able to use. So before I do a flip through of the completed album, I want to remind you to check out all the other talented ladies participating in this hop. They are linked and listed down in the description of this video. For the cover of the album, I use strips of washi tape. And for the title page, I just simply put December daily. I use some washi tape on the edge of this page and you'll see throughout the album that many pages like this next one have washi tape on the side of the page. I've created numbers with my word punch board and I'll point some of those out along the way. There's a number for each day of the month of December. A couple of the pages are left open without a number assigned. I can move these pages around in the album if I have something more to say or additional photos, but there's numbers eight and nine that I just pointed out there. So I have some flexibility with this album because there are a few extra pages here and there that can be easily moved around in this three ring binder. There's a combination of pocket pages and cardstock pages. So you'll see a few pocket pages that have one section or two sections. They are basically six by eight pages, so they work out nicely. Here's a page that says favorite songs of the season. I thought that was kind of a fun thing to include. Here's numbers 18 and 19. And the next page is just a versatile page without numbers on both sides, so I can move that around. If I want to do something extra on a day or have extra photos. There's some more washi tape at the top of that page. I had a couple of cute little envelopes that I made little pockets for. I also had some Christmas llama themed paper that I made a couple pages out of. For Christmas Eve, there are a couple of open pages because I anticipate we'll take photos on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So here's all that's left of that kit. I really, really bashed that stash. It was a lot of fun. And I'm so glad I gave this kit a try. I don't usually create kits, but I really had fun challenging myself to get as much of that kit used as possible. 
Be sure to check out the other ladies participating in this hop. They're linked down in the description. And here are a couple more videos with ideas for Christmas pages, as well as a playlist about December Daily albums. Keep on scrapping your stash.